Hey, what's up everybody? Tito with Aloha Android. How you guys doing today? And today is just a bunch of news. Um, several things I just thought was really awesome that I wanted to make a video about. And so we're going to jump right into them. So the first thing that is coming out basically, well not coming out, but I just wanted to discuss with you guys is this whole thing of Google Plus being separated from everything. So if you guys probably remembered a couple of years ago, Google announced that in order to have a YouTube account and other Google services account, you needed a Google Plus profile. And a lot of people were very, very against it. They were really upset when that happened. And um, a lot of people went vocal about it. So I guess um, Google finally, I guess, got the point from a lot of people's complaints and is now going to streamline Google Plus solo away from every other service. Therefore, you're not needing a Google Plus profile to make accounts such as a YouTube account. And that could be great cheers for everyone out there who was combating against um, the first change when they actually tied Google Plus into YouTube. And so there you go. You guys got it the way you guys want it from before. But also remember, this could possibly be the return of the trolls main stating that we're probably going to see a lot more people going on there and typing out some rude comments and whatnot just because that's part of the reason why Google Plus was tied into YouTube in the past. It was a way to slow down all the cyberbullying that was going on in YouTube about four years ago. Uh, if you actually kind of look at YouTube right now, I mean, I'm not saying that it's purely clean, that doesn't happen anymore, but it has died down some with the fact that of you having to create a Google Plus account Although you could make a fake Google Plus account, you can make a fake name like Ted Williams, even though your name is not Ted Williams, and you go off to hate bash somebody's YouTube video. It did put them at bay only for the simple fact that in order to create a Google Plus account, you had to create a Gmail account, and that was just too much stress for anyone who was going to sit there and spend half an hour to 45 minutes creating a Gmail account, then creating a Google Plus profile, and then making a YouTube account just to leave one hateful comment on a YouTube video. Wasn't worth it, so a lot of people weren't doing it, but now you could just make a YouTube account without the need of a Google Plus account. We could see a high spike in trolling. I'm just saying. So another thing in cool tech, basically, there is leaks of the OnePlus 2. Now this is pretty awesome. I do like some of the specs that I've read about it. I do like if the body design is true. I like the way how it looks. Um, I still agree with uh, a lot of people that say that the OnePlus devices are technically flagship killers because they give you all the flagship specs, but they don't break your wallet to get them. So it's pretty interesting. But again, one thing I grin about is this whole invite system. Again, you have to be invited to get a device and invites don't come very easily. So uh, it will pan over the next seven months. I, I'm guesstimating that. Um, several people will get a hold of the OnePlus 2 and eventually um, close to a year later we may see that the invitation system is gone and they're ready to take orders from anybody. So my question is will you guys actually consider getting one? Something that's pretty cool but kind of irritates me is all this, uh, this, this different tech that's coming out. For instance one thing I read today was LG is coming out with a flip phone that runs Android it runs Lollipop. The specs is pretty awesome for a flip phone, okay? It's not, it's not your beefy flagship type specs, but for a flip phone, this should do very well. The problem is, is that with all these Android flip phones that are coming out in the Asian market, they're not likely to make their way to the US, and I think that's what kind of annoys me. We're starting to get used to the same candy bar style touchscreen smartphones, and it's been a while since we've owned a flip phone, and I think it'll stir the pot up a little bit if you know the, the US market started actually wanting to grab these flip phones and having people grab these flip phones and use them. You imagine the back of the day when we used to have things like the Moto Razor, uh, just flip it open and boom, you know, you talk. Uh, and the fact that they run Android, pretty awesome. One gig of RAM on the LG device, pretty awesome. Uh, I, I think it would do great for someone who kind of wants a smartphone but doesn't want to really like bellish deeply into a smartphone. So you kind of get the best of both worlds, just a standalone cell phone with a smartphone operating system, you know. 
I think it'd be great to have in the U.S. market, and I think it sucks that they're not considering bringing it here. Another one was um, the Sharp Aquos uh, K Flip. That looked like a very interesting phone, and it's sad that it is not coming to the U.S. market. So uh, I think that a lot of these devices that are coming out in Asia, that should be brought to the U.S. market, change things up a little bit and kind of bring in some new design. We really need it because these candy bar style touchscreen phones are getting quite boring. There's only so many ways you can make a phone look before you're just like, eh, it's another smartphone. Finally, the Moto X third generation, um, pretty much making its rounds around the Webernet. A lot of people talking about it. I did kind of take down some of the notes here of what to expect with the Moto X third generation. But um, so anyways, 5.5 uh, inch FHD display. It's going to be running 5.1.1 Lollipop. Here's my favorite parts. 21 megapixel rear facing camera and a 5 megapixel front facing camera. A 3600 milliamp hour battery. And I'm guessing either 3 to 4 gigs of RAM. Uh, the 3600 milliamp hour battery and the camera is what really excites me because uh, we need better cameras. Uh, it's, you know, for me, it's just really, it's just really annoying to have to pack a bag where you carry, you know, your, your camera for shooting videos and your smartphone has a camera that can actually do it. I've seen a couple of videos like from Erica that, you know, she showed that she did some videos with her Galaxy S6 and um, her LG G4 and the S6 actually did a great job uh, replacing her daily driver camera as far as making blog videos on YouTube. And for the longest time, which you guys pretty much should know, all my videos are shot with an Android device. I use the front-facing camera on the ZTE Speed for this video and past videos as well. Uh, ZTE made a, you know, did a great job with the ZTE Speed and its front-facing camera and the microphone for audio. And this is really what I use. So this is why my videos are like this and they're not high-quality 4K videos. Is because I am using a smartphone as I have so much faith in Android that I feel like it can bring good videos that I'm recording. And... For some people to actually like my videos, obviously, proves the point. You don't really need a high DSLR camera or any of that kind of stuff to actually have a good video for people to enjoy. So that is like my biggest thing for the Moto, the Moto X third generation. But that 3600 milliamp hour battery is going to be really, really, really good. Hopefully, um, because there's times where they have made uh, devices that have a big battery, but then of course the the OS and and all the features and background pretty much suck up a lot of that battery juice, and so therefore it's like why even try? But hopefully the 3600 milliamp hour battery will give this phone great battery lifetime. And so that's pretty much it for today's quick news. If you guys enjoyed all the stuff I had to tell you guys, please leave me a thumbs up. Um, if you have anything you guys want to add to any one of the topics I discussed today, please leave your thoughts in the comment section of this video. Share it on your social networks. Follow me on my social networks. And don't forget to subscribe. My name is Tito with Aloha Android. Thank you guys for tuning in. And I'll see you guys next time. Let me out. I'm stuck in your pocket.